Welcome back. The What the Flick reviews of Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 8, Too Far Gone. The epic conclusion to the first half, anyway, of Season 4. Uh, we'd made big predictions on our last review about what it could and should have. I'm happy, at least. I know. Uh, what do you guys Your think? prediction came true. Wait, wait, which prediction? You went straight to the camera and went, you know who's going down? The governor's going down. Oh, that's yeah. true. And I don't think most people agreed at the time. I don't think. Oh, it was time for it to be over. Now, the yeah. other big, uh, so that's a big death. We got lots of big deaths. Herschel. Swan song. Let's put it that way. He got to come back. He got to rise from the ashes of whatever the name, his little town. We're and buried. now he is dead. And yeah. I like that. Well, because we yeah. had his failed redemption story. He's mm. presumably dead. No. Right. He never <laughs> <helped> the governor. <laughs> He's been stabbed in the eye, stabbed in the heart, presumably shot. Maybe she shot past him to scare him. Mm -hmm. Lily killed him. Yeah, she, she, probably, he she did. probably killed him. He did. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what a lot of people are saying about this episode is this is what the, the like, the, I guess it wasn't the season, but yeah, the season finale of three, what it should have been. That when you had that epic uh, confrontation at the prison, this is how it should have played out. Instead, we got a one-minute firefight, no real resolution, no major characters died in that direct conflict. I mean, is this what they should have had then? Yes. And did it lose some of its power because of the extra eight episodes we had to watch? Also, I, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we just needed one sick episode. I like, you know, I get, I like the idea of people getting sick. That was all we got this season, mm -hmm. right? It felt like this first half of the season, aside from this. Uh, the last two or three episodes, the governor episode, all we got was really just, oh, Amazing. people, what if people got sick and died? And oh. then the, the threats from within. Uh -huh. But this way, this is what I needed. I felt like, we were saying this before, I felt like I, I there was so much anger and contempt that I had for still being in the prison that it felt like I wrote this episode. Mm -hmm. And there was some subconscious part of my brain that communicated toward the writers where they just, I was the tank and it was just blowing <laughs> the shit out of the prison. Yeah. That worked for me. So that was the, the biggest prediction that we made, that, that to shake up the series, they have to get out of the prison. Mm -hmm. And if they were just going to attack, that's one thing. But when you see the tank there, the only thing tanks do is blow holes in things. And so inevitably that was gonna make the, the prison uninhabitable. So stupid. To, so stupid to Just bring a tank? That guy in the tank is so stupid to blow the holes in the walls. That's why they're going to the prison is for the walls. Yeah. Well, people are saying, you know, why didn't they have a better backup plan other than just ramming through the fences? But I, I don't know that that was their plan at all. I think that that was the, the governor freaking out over the fact that Megan, not freaking out, but Megan had died. He doesn't care anymore. He wants to commit suicide by sending the whole group in. Megan I don't think that was the plan. That. Megan died after they started shooting. After they started blowing holes no, in no, the no. prison. But not before they drove. But, but yeah, the I mean, I, I guess they had blown up the tower at that point. I don't right. know if they'd started firing I at the actual this walls. Was to show that the governor was indeed full of shit when he said, "Oh, I don't want the power. I don't want the power." He does want the power, and he, he does it. want to kill those people. Mm -hmm. And it, Lily knew it. Mm -hmm. She was sick of it, his shit, and he 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 lied to her. He lied to everyone. He broke his promises. Um, yeah, he wanted like to do that. all that. Like even before they went off, she obviously didn't he trust wasn't him anymore. Listening to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so wait, uh, which one's Lily? His girlfriend. Yeah, oh, back yeah, of the van yeah, yeah. girl. She was, there's that really odd hug right before they leave to go on their, uh, you know, raid where the governor's hugging Megan and Lily's looking at him like, oh, yeah, this might suck. Mm -hmm. This guy might be terrible. for them. He says he is. I don't, I don't believe he was. I think he was just driving for power again. I don't know. I don't necessarily believe that. I think that there is something wrong with him. I think there's just a few switches that are, you know, misfiring, mm -hmm. and there is a part of him that wants to do good, and I think it all comes back, not necessarily to Lily and Megan, but back to his previous life where he, yeah. you know, let down his daughter Ultimately, and his wife. I think he's in it for himself. Well, let me I, ask you I, I just think, I, mean, I think for himself, the, the, the part of that that I do gravitate toward is that he is in it for himself in that he wants to avenge that. Also, meanwhile, he is, it is driving him crazy, and he will black out, snap, and just kill people. So do you guys think that his offer, when he's standing on the tank and he's saying, you guys can leave and we'll live here, did he genuinely want that? Well, you seem to think he you did not want Herschel that. You say, you're willing, you said you don't want it to, you, you would like to not kill anyone, but you're willing to kill people, you're willing to kill my daughters. Mm -hmm. he, I think he's really just using all that as like a crutch or a mask. He, he's a maniacal jackass. So he wanted violence between the two groups. He didn't care if there was violence. I don't think he mm -hmm. truly wanted non-violence. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really care for this group either, right? Because he's proven that he's willing to kill the leaders. 
I do. I do see. I know what you're what you're going for too, because like. He he was he was willing to kill the guys in charge, and he says that he's kind of only you know keeping around the folks that are willing to kill to keep the people safe. But then he's definitely you know the people who he's killing aren't safe in the group. Yeah. I think he wanted to kill everyone at the prison more than he wanted to keep his group safe. Yeah. The way it went down is the way that he wanted. Had they all just packed up and left, he would have been disappointed. Yeah, yeah. It just to me it seems like he could have killed Michonne and Herschel earlier if he just wanted to kill him. And also, if he went in and, and we're supposed to assume that he didn't genuinely want peace, then Rick's big speech doesn't really mean anything. I think it means something because it triggered him. No, but if he already, something. I'm saying it only, I think it only means something if he genuinely what, did kind of want peace. If he really wanted he to kill them. That speech. What's that? I don't even think the governor listened to that Rick speech at all. He said, <laughs> like, Rick's speech just, was important for Rick because he, he for had Herschel. said, um, mm -hmm. I, we, I don't make the decisions now, we're a council. And he said, you do it. So he had to do what he, he had been fearing and dreading this whole time. He goes up there, he makes a big, I feel like it was a really anti-war speech where he's saying, mm -hmm. you know, we can work together. He's let go of, he's let go of the, his, his anger and problems with the governor and is willing to set it aside for peace. And he admits that peace is going to be harder than running around and killing each other like savages. Yeah. And I thought that meant like Rick can come back. He did come back from it, but the so governor did, did but not. Governor didn't. Yeah. 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 That, that speech that Rick gave just proved to Herschel and everyone, but especially Herschel, that when Rick is thrust back into a leadership role again, a place he didn't want to be because they made that council, that he has learned, he has changed, he is more Herschel like. He's willing to make sacrifices and take the nonviolent route. Did you see that sweet smile from Hersh? Oh, yeah. my little, heart. little Obi Wan moment. Yep. Yes. He's more Hershey. Yeah. <laughs> Very Hershey. Like Rick is Hershey. <laughs> I definitely thought when the when the first slash across the throat, the fact that he did not like yeah. separate his head, like I thought maybe there's a chance he won't die. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of the part of Game of Thrones when uh, what's his name? Frick. Frick. With what's his name? This is a spoiler, by the way. If you have not watched, there's Game a part. Of of I will just off. say there's a part in Game of Thrones where someone tries to like you know symbolically behead someone and he just and can't it do it. Go well. He's not strong enough to get That's through there. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, what I liked about the the cutting off of the head is it allowed the um, uh, officer Nobra to be. She in that whole fight, which by the way, I'm, I'm going to uh, at some point criticize the rest of them in that fight. But she represented what an actual person would be like in there. He cut someone's head off with a sword. That should freak you out, even yeah. post-apocalyptic. And when the gr grenade goes off, she's like, what the fuck, there's grenades. Like, everybody else is like, whatever. They're soldiers all of a sudden. Yeah. They're advancing behind a tank like it's Saving Private Ryan. Mm -hmm. But she acted kind of like what you would actually act like. So I think what happened, I try to put myself in the, in the shoes. When, well, when Rick starts talking, I expect Rick to give a speech that yeah. inspires all of uh, the governor's soldiers to defect to Rick mm -hmm. and realize how ridiculous the governor is. However, I think that the actor playing Rick did a very good job of seeming so affected by what's happened so far and mentally distraught, where like I was saying, like if, if they got Rick's words in an email, they'd be like, oh, these totally make sense. Yeah. But since he said it in that way, where it's like, we're all been through so much shit. Like, <laughs> oh, that guy's kind of still crazy too. <laughs> Do you, do you think if he cuts off Herschel's head or he slashes his throat at this point, if they had not opened fire, do you think the governor's people might have defected? Other than the tank guy who was a douchebag. It seemed like they were on the fence about it. So yeah. it, it was possible that if the, the prison people hadn't fired on him, they might not have. Maybe it would have been okay. It didn't give them the opportunity to say, holy shit, this might be the bad guy. We might be behind the bad guy right yeah. now. Because yeah. these people seem nice in the prison and they want to invite us in. And we don't have to waste the bullets. But put yourself yeah. in that position of Rick. I think that's a very realistic response where it's like, you just chopped my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the, the daughter's just oh, going out and open. Oh. Yeah. So Obviously sad. not firing accurately, but you feel for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in terms of the actual assault, I liked that they had the tank. That was interesting. I'm glad that they showed the, the shot of Rick so you could see what had been blown up in the first shot. That mm -hmm. was a nice touch. And I like that it allowed Daryl to move beyond killing humans and zombies to actually killing like machines of war. I don't know where this leaves him for next season in terms of what he's gonna have to kill. Actually, that was um, Daryl's first human kill. 
Well, if he Not killed him. Not mercy or, or a walker. But I, I think it is noteworthy that we didn't see the guy die. He got shot like in the shoulder, no, and then you don't see right him. The there were really? I thought he got the shoulder. In that, in that He's done. Yeah. But why wouldn't he shoot him in the head? I don't know. I don't know. I'm yeah. not Daryl. Because maybe later he gets <laughs> to encounter his first human kill. Yeah. Walking around. Po- oh, oh, yeah, that, that's a possibility. Um, okay, so another obvious section. While this whole conflict is going on, you have Lily and Megan off, you know, hanging out by the river. What did you think about that whole? Fantastic. Yeah, I love it. She's like, hang on, my child who's yelling for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch a pot boil for the next 15 minutes. Yeah. And it was great. I loved it. And I the governor thought, was right. Well, he, he, yeah. He was right. They cannot get across the river. Yeah. Stop wasting your time watching that guy over there and attend to your daughter. Right? I'm like, you know, in a park, in a pre-apocalyptic world, you don't want your kid that far away from you playing. <laughs> In a post-apocalyptic, I think it's like, all right, just hold my hand and dig with one other. <laughs> you know, you can make your sandwiches, but I need to hold on to you while this yeah. is going on. Is that the sinkhole from earlier? Mm, as far as I know, it was no. not. Okay. Um, I, I think, like, her looking at the, the zombie crossing the river was obviously a mistake, but I think, as you said, like, just ha- letting her be that far away, like, before the governor left, when they're having the talk, and he's like, look at Megan, he, like, points at her, and she's off right on the edge of the forest. Mm-hmm. Like, zombies don't just come from across the river. Why are they acting like they're that safe? Like, we're in season four, but people are acting like it's not dangerous anymore. Like, you're in a camper. Get her inside the camper. I wouldn't even consider her safe if she was inside the camper. Right, and there's been more time for humans to turn to zombies, so there's more zombies there's out There's more there. zombies. So that seemed crazy. I don't know why the governor would leave them with I mean, a pistol and no protection other than that. Their original camp didn't even have a perimeter. The one that they came across. It was just a bunch of campers out there. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't I feel like it was, uh, I think that was just more hastily put together than anything else. Yeah. I think it would have been an interesting change if instead of like the, just the mud zombie, which is obviously a random zombie killing her, if she had been like playing on the dock and fallen in and the chain to the bottom of the sea zombie oh. had killed her. I think that that, maybe that wouldn't have been good because it's too directly implicating the governor. It's kind of good that his just negligence led to her death. Mm-hmm. I think the only thing more heavy handed than that was stepping on the chess piece in the mud. The chess piece? Yeah, when after the governor got shot in the head, uh-huh. then the walkers like, Oh, the chess piece. Yes. Why did he have the it? Chest. Why did he have well, it? How did that make it to the battle? What was that doing there? Well, maybe it was so a good dumb. luck charm that he had. So dumb. Yeah. So I, I did not predict that Megan would die. I, I think we thought that that we pr- thought that girl would live. I thought I think we thought Officer Nobra might die though. Yeah, she's and I, wasn't yeah. I might have predicted out loud that Herschel would die because I was ready for mm-hmm. it. I said it out loud before he got his head chopped off. It was like Rick had his big speech. Herschel smiled, and I was like, "Bye, Felicia." And then it was like, "Here, <laughs> you know, bye, Herschel." And uh, yeah, definitely. Once he smiled, you know yeah. he's gonna die. Yeah. That was I, I forget if it was you or you earlier before the show was pointing out that it was a very Obi Wan sort of thing. Um, but the, the question is, is he going to rise up stronger than you could possibly imagine? Character development is dangerous on this show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and he did have that good episode. episode. Yeah. Yeah, and that was a good, I, that people have referenced that in a lot of the reviews that that made his death so much more meaningful. Whereas someone like uh, Andrea didn't really have that, or at least her episode didn't hit home in the same way that Internment did. We don't she love was Andrea as much. Generally yeah. annoying, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, that was a frustrating death because she totally proved in other episodes she could fight the shit out of zombies. Mm-hmm. And she got killed by slow moving nerd guy. Yeah, well, granted, all she had was her weird uh, grasping foot. That was like <laughs> her only weapon at that point. So stupid. That was, she brought that on herself. She was just chit chatting for like 25 minutes. Was, yeah, for just a very long time. deal with this, and then you can have your dying moments. Yeah. Okay, so a couple more things that happened during the, conclu- during the, the conflict that I thought were interesting. You had the, the girls come out and be like, they have guns, we should have guns. And that sort of naive attitude normally gets you punished in The Walking Dead. But that, like, there were a couple times when I just like, jumped up during the episode, but when they shot the, the lesbian, Alicia. That was a good moment, man. I did not see that coming. Love the lesbian. I wanted her. I wanted her, I wanted her around. I, I wanted her to Alicia. stay on the show and wanted her. Um, it also sets up one of my favorite um, things that I think is going to happen mm. because now we've stratified into little groups. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, That's but okay. Tyrese is with these little girls, mm-hmm. and so they're out on their own. Mm-hmm. So they're obviously going to run into Carol. Pretty obviously. And yes. Tyrese doesn't know about Carol, mm-hmm. what happened to her. And I think it's also going to come to light that Carol didn't kill 
those two that the little girls did. Yeah. So now Tyrese is specifically the, the what, crazy one. What do we right. call the little girls now? Oh, 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 scary, scary, scary Kate, Kate and, and Smashley. And Smashley. <laughs> scary Kate and Smashley. Love it. Yeah. Kids, kids are bloodthirsty after but the end of the world. I think that's I think that's going to be a good thing. Yeah, because the, the reason we think that S Scary Kate and Bash and Smashley didn't kill or are the ones that are responsible for the death is because they found that little eviscerated was, was squirrel painting. Or something. It was like a rat splayed open, like pinned down to a board. Yeah, yeah I had to do a lot of craft projects in kindergarten, <laughs> but I don't think we covered it that one. It looked like a frog dissection, but with yeah. a rat. Yeah, so, um, so now they've all split off into groups, yeah. but we don't really know where anyone is. Mm -hmm. It seems like they go in pretty random directions. I have to imagine they have a meeting place. Yeah. Um, I mean, they had a plan. They had that bus. They, they had, had a bus. They had an Which, idea. As soon as all the main characters got off the bus, oh or no, Glenn is still on Glenn's it. Glenn's on the bus. If Glenn's, Glenn's going to have to be a bunch of red shirts. Yeah. He's in so yeah. much trouble. I <laughs> thought if he gets off that bus, that bus is getting shot by the tank. I thought that was what was going to happen. But so I, I like, though, that everybody's split off because now we're back to like season one. All these individual groups who actually have to fight for survival. That's what I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. And I we're leaving the fucking prison. Yeah. I like, I like that we had it. I think we needed to move on, and I'm glad that we have. Mm -hmm. um, and before, before we move on in terms of predicting what's going to happen to those groups, uh, we did have one other death in the episode when they found the little baby carrier with the blood stains and right. the implication that baby Judith has been killed. Baby Judith's fine. Yeah. I fine. thought maybe it was a good symmetry well, to have like the old guy and the young baby die. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just no country for old men and and both little girls dying. I've never seen an episode follow the comics so much as since days gone by as this one. There's there's a, a volume with the same name as this episode and there are several scenes taken directly from the comic like when uh, Carl and Rick are just overwhelmed with grief and they're holding each other and they say, yeah. don't look back, keep walking. That's straight from the comic. Mm -hmm. And no, no, no comic I don't want to say anything, but. No comic spoilers. Fuck, I'm done. It's like with Game it, of sorry. Thrones. We only talk about the, the stuff. I have to assume that she's not dead too, because when Walking Dead wants to show someone dead, they show that they're dead. They mm -hmm. show a body. Like this, this allows her to come back. You only have that so she can come back. I completely agree the little ass kicker's still alive somewhere. Uh -huh. But if they wanted to kill the baby, could they show that on cable I television? Was hoping, some cool I, tell could they I was show hoping for was like a infant? little, I wanted to see a little baby like walking. Oh, I did think that that was a possibility. Because we have to assume that they can come back. Well, it's an old TV trope. If there's no body, they're not dead. Yeah, exactly. So maybe. Yeah, and it's not like the Walking Dead writers are so savvy that they can't fall into that hole. Like, I, I definitely think that we'll see her. The, the question is, who has her? I think we've speculated about possibly Michonne having her. Because Michonne does wander off from Rick for no reason that I can mm -hmm. come up with. Um, yeah, even though his like, head is in two pieces at this point. Yeah. He's like, got face skin hanging off. He's oh. been punched a thousand times by the gov. Oh, I'm glad I you brought that up, actually. I hated that writers think like the ultimate battle of like wills and like a real passionate fight just involves punching someone a whole lot. Yeah. Like in this scenario where everyone have? has <laughs> assault rifles and <laughs> combat knives strapped all over them, uh -huh. we really go back to punching each other. I like it's it. I do. That's it's, not it's dramatic. Primitive. That's stupid. It's primitive. Um, have you noticed the governor always goes for the neck mm. in all those fights? Yeah. Always Cheryl neck. Carroll. So, so what do you guys uh, think no, about the decision what? that they made, the writers, that when you have... So Rick got the first blow. He attacked the governor. Now, granted, Rick had already been shot at this point. He must have been out of bullets, because why the fuck wouldn't you just wait until yeah, he walked by and shoot, shoot him Well, in the actually, face? as they were advancing on that thing, I was like, isn't that what Rick was hiding I behind? I totally forgot about him behind the yeah. bus. But so, so they clash, and the governor wins. D like, d does that make sense to you, or is that how you think it should have played out? The governor, obviously a badass. We saw it in the pit. Governor's bigger. I he just think bigger. he wins a fist fight. I mean, aside from Michonne stabbing him, the governor would have killed Rick there. Yes. Also, I, I do like how writers are like, if you punch him in the face in a dramatic moment, he doesn't die. But any time I want to kill someone, just have them fall and kind of hit their head. Yeah. You know, there's all those like, you know, someone fell, there's a, a, an accident, they push someone and they fall and hit the coffee table and they're fucking dead. It's always dead. the coffee table. It's just someone like smacking you in the head until your f entire face is falling yeah. off. Or you smack me shown with a pistol one time and she's knocked out. Yeah. Because her like hunter's instincts didn't kick in in that moment in no a way that they normally sense. would. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I like that Michonne got the kill, especially because she had been in the middle of delivering like a speech about how she was going to kill him, and she got cut off. Yeah. I think that was funny. Mm -hmm. She didn't really get the kill. She's Lily got the yeah, kill. Yeah, I guess that. Well, I, I think Michonne he was going to die. She kind of proved like. You know, she said earlier, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm over the revenge. I'm okay now. And she kind of proved that to herself. Like, By not finishing him. Yeah, she just left him and walked off. She didn't have to do it herself. I he was going to die, though. I'll bet in that one <laughs> moment when the sword came through him, he thought, God, one hostage would have been enough. <laughs> yeah. Herschel would have done it. That would have yeah. done it. Yeah. And, and also, he, he could have chopped off her head. Yeah. He chose Herschel. Now, I think that that's obviously sort of a... That's supposed to demonstrate his anger at that philosophy and what Herschel represents and what Rick represents. Yeah, but he, 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 it would have made more sense to kill Michonne. I just think then Michonne is a little after dinner snack for him. Like after all this happens, he has a special way in his mind that he is going to get rid of yeah. Michonne. Slow. That is going to slowly ruin her. But unfortunately, she was able to combat Roll off the battlefield. I like so that. Good. That was Love pretty it. cool. <laughs> yeah, and then she kills the guy by stomping his throat. She's she's a badass. I love yeah. that girl. Um, so before predictions, do we have any other final points about this episode? I'm good. I mean, we can recap all the little groups and see how they fare. So it's Tyrese with uh, the girls, the, the cutest little sharp shooters. Mika and Lizzie. A question about that: the girls were the ones who had the baby carrier. The Mika yes, and two of the girls. Mika, and, no, okay. no, yeah, yes. Mika and Molly had the baby <laughs> that carrier. Poor, okay. That poor baby. It was like running out of like that baby. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, good. The little children have the baby. Yeah, they put the baby in babysitting. Okay, so we got that group who we believe is probably going to run into Carol, okay. since she's definitely coming back. Yeah. They um, said she is. Oh, they said it. They said okay, she is. Okay, I, I didn't know that. Credits, so. Yeah, well, I, that, sometimes that's a deal where you're in the whole season's opening credits, but, but I do think she'll come back. So what, what other groups? You Carl and Rick, obviously. Carl and Rick. You've got Daryl and Beth. Mm -hmm. you Maggie. Got with Sasha and, and Bob, Bob, and Bob, who, is who got shot. Yeah, but there's an exit one, so yeah, yeah. that's true. Treatable. Oh, that's good. I, are okay. we gonna get a Bob Glenn and the red shirts romance? That, what's that? Are we gonna get a Bob and Sasha romance? Yes. Is that they what they were teasing? That's what it felt like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No. As soon as she gets better. Yeah, and yeah. then Glenn and the boss of red shirts. Yeah. Which, if you're gonna be in a group, that's the worst group to be with because not a single person there can handle a gun, as far as we know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then you've got Michonne somewhere. Possibly with the baby. Maybe with the baby. Maybe and not. Do you think we'll see like the cast of the Woodbury Two again? I think again? we're going to see, uh, gonna see the Lily sisters? and Tara again because they both lived and they both didn't really stand with the governor, so they, they they aren't shown to be like fully immersed in that. They're my second most likely for having Judith. Yeah. That could be good. Lily could. I mean, both that of them were okay. wandering around that area. I mean, the, 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 uh, cop uh, or officer Nobra, she was shooting at them, so she's a little bit more implicated than, than Lily was. Mm -hmm. But they were both definitely left alive. Like, they're going to be around. I don't know what they represent without the governor, Yeah. but they're definitely left around. Um, I think that if I was in a group, I'd probably want to be with the kids and Tyrese. I think that's going to be an interesting dynamic. And they've got two very qualified warriors with them. <laughs> Um, so, so in terms of predictions, we were saying we wanted, our last episode, we were saying we want the, the prison to break down. Now mm -hmm. they can move on. It looks like they're going to have to. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, so, I mean, some of us know, based I on the comics, what happens point. next. So I, I will Well, they sometimes diverge. Helicarrier. Yeah, Glenn Helicarrier. is going to meet <laughs> someone <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. on the bus. And I can't, that's that all I want to so say. So the bus, I like, Glenn I like will meet someone. That's all I want to say. So generally, I think they do. Glenn, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Glenn on the bus mm -hmm. will meet his. Uh, I will have to take a leadership role. That's going to be fun. And then, uh, yeah, I, I think they'll all come together somewhere. Yeah, I do think that they had that because Tim told me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, well, I, I do hope that they follow up on the radio message that they got. I assume that's going to be the second half of season four. I ass I hope that it's going to be the situation I want to see where they are joining up with a more established group and they have to see how they survive in that situation. I think that that could be interesting. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like. Carriers. Just an aircraft carrier somewhere in the sea where no zombies can reach them, because mm -hmm. that worked in, I World think, War World Z. War Z. Yeah. But I do, I, like I was telling you before the show, I do wonder what a villain looks like after the governor. Like, what else, what other big personality can a, go, can a villain have in this world? T-Rex. No. Other than a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah. A zombified T-Rex. <laughs> there, anyway. I mean, there are other types of societies, other types of survivors that they can encounter. Mm -hmm. And my guess is um, they're going to go somewhere and fuck it up for who's ever there. Mm -hmm. 
and that all of a sudden they'll be like the antagonists that bring you know chaos with them to an established, to an established group. Yeah, yeah, because every group does have to fall. I, I was when I was reading the reviews, there was an interesting line somebody wrote where they talked about how like the the big conflict wasn't that the zombies happened to get in the prison; it was that the humans were unnecessarily killing each other when all of them, other than the governor, knew that they did not have to. And the line that they they said was that. It makes sense that zombies move slowly because it gives us more time to fuck things up for ourselves. That's great. Which I thought that that was kind of cool. Anyway, that's the first half of season four. Thanks for joining us on What the Flick for our little reviews. Uh, by the way, Johnny DeRolla, Kim Horsher, Tim Frisch over there, and Brett Ehrlich as well. Probably should have done that earlier on, but you know who we are by this point. Anyway, we'll be back in February for the second half of season four. I'm excited. See you, See you then. Months.